my name is Ross Douglas and I'm the founder of Autonomy Paris, the annual trade show on mobility. I started um, getting interested in mobility when I was working um, in South Africa and I was visiting Lagos, um, Delhi and during the same time Berlin and Copenhagen. And what I experienced in Lagos and Delhi was just insane levels of traffic because there was no public transport. Um, no really way to walk or cycle and there was just an increase of car ownership um, and what I experienced in Berlin um, and Copenhagen was the complete opposite where with a bicycle you could move really quickly and I understood that mobility was going to change for the simple reason that you can't just increase the number of cars in cities because that decreases mobility and I predicted that there was be, would be a big change in the way we move in cities. The idea of autonomy and, and the reason why we, we called it autonomy was that it's the ability to move without car ownership, to be autonomous, to be independent, not having to rely on another car to move. So I chose to do the event in Paris because Paris is a leader in, in you know, car-free mobility because it has such a high level of public transport, it has very good infrastructure for cycling, um, and it has a lot of bike, scooter, car sharing available too. Thought that there was a need for the new mobility community to gather once a year to exchange ideas, to see new products, see new innovation, and most importantly, to put policymakers and innovators together because that is really where the innovation is being driven. Policymakers are changing infrastructure or changing uh, legislation, and innovators are responding to that with the right products and services. The pandemic hit in March 2020 and the lockdown was declared. I spent three or four days reading about pandemics and I understood that they take a very long time. I postponed the physical show by two years and uh, Autonomy Paris now takes place on March 16 and 17, exactly two years after the first lockdown um, in Paris. Um, and during those two years, I changed the nature of the business to be able to work with clients across physical and digital platforms. Um, luckily, we have built up a big community of readers through the newsletter, the Urban Mobility Weekly. For example, in Europe now, you're having a, a banning of, of short distance flights. Um, and so you're going to start seeing a lot more train and overnight trains coming um, as people move away from aeroplanes for, for short distance. Another obvious trend is the move from combustion to electric. Um, that's really accelerating now and that will give us cleaner, quieter cities, um, particularly when the, the delivery um, motorbikes and scooters go from combustion to electric because that's a big source of noise pollution, obviously. I think the third trend, and for me the most interesting trend, is the move from motorist to mobilist. So what we see in our business is that a lot of um, consumers were, would have been motorists you know, five, ten years ago. And now because there's such a big offer of mobility solutions, they've become mobilists. What is a mobilist? It's a person with a smartphone who is happy to move by scooter, bike, um, motor car, public transit. They effectively will make a decision that which journey, what vehicle should they use for which journey and they make what makes sense. Whereas what a motorist effectively does is they buy a motor car and because they've paid that cost and it's a sunk cost, they make every single journey by motor car whether it makes sense or not. I'm a car lover, but I never use cars in cities because they make absolutely no sense in cities um, if I'm traveling by myself. So in cities, I use a titanium bicycle. And you know, when I go on holiday with my family, I like to do uh, high-speed trains, which obviously France is a leader in and then I always rent a car at the destination. And the nice thing about non-car ownership is that I have quite a good mobility budget because I save 600 euros a month by not owning a car. So when I go on holiday, I often will rent a very nice car um, because it's for a short period of time and I have that budget available. Now, as we see in Paris, people are now relaxing. The, the pandemic is, is behind us. Um, and Autonomy will be, I think, one of the first events where masks will not be compulsory any longer. The sixth edition of Autonomy takes place at Porte de Versailles on the 16th and 17th of March.